How I started teaching Navajo math, I put myself in the place of how I wanted to learn the math. I started thinking about ways, you know, how, how can I teach our children, you know, to understand and to learn the concept of using math. I started working on counting one to five, then I increased it to one to ten, one to twenty, and then I kept going and now our children are counting to one hundred by themselves. For a lot of Navajo people, I guess, math is in their daily life. I mean, they count sheep, they count trees, flowers. I mean, even if they make a hogan, they have to count how many logs they need. So for Navajo people, it's math is just a daily thing. They don't realize it's a daily thing until you come to school and then they say, hmm, you think about it and it's our, the concept is there. <laughs> I guess the only difference between both of them is the language itself. In English, we can say one penny in a quick sentence, one sense. But in Navajo, we say so it's more of a descriptive language. I think that showing them that in their own language that they have the same like shapes or names or way of naming things, it helps them to to see that culturally they have knowledge of their own that they can call upon even if they don't know it you know even if they're not fluent speakers of the language or they didn't know it just gives them a sense of pride you know to be able to say wow and you know a long time ago we could talk about hexagons or squares or you know circles or things like that when mrs jones found out in greek the the base word hex means six and the word gone means side, so it means a shape with six sides. So when Mrs. Jones found that out, she realized that it's pretty much the same way in Navajo, except that in Navajo they're naming the points on the, on the shape. Just because we have to learn something in a new way now can't, doesn't mean we can't relate it to what we already knew. It's important for my daughter to learn how to use our Navajo language in math and science. It's not just a conversation between two people, but, you know, our language is, is a language, and that's how it needs to be used. It shouldn't just be used as, okay, for an hour we're going to be talking about Navajo or about these different objects in Navajo, but it needs to be utilized in a way that her process, her thought process, becomes when she's doing her addition, when, you know, when she's doing her math, when she's doing her sciences, that she's also thinking about that and processing that in the Navajo language as well. <laughs> Because I've had a very hard time trying to get over this obstacle of passing math. 
So I thought, you know, how can I help our younger ones, our little ones, to understand the math concept where I wasn't taught? So I started teaching them, you know, the way I wanted them to understand and learn it. Try counting in the neck at Pretty soon we started doing addition with them. He shot the and now they understand, you know, the words the quisha, hashnelt at disha, quenelt at gosha, the qui. I use all these vocabulary terms with them and they understand what I'm talking about. It's important for my daughter to look at numbers and to understand that in Navajo. When she sees two apples, I want her to say Naki Bilasana. Navajo they also play pay attention to place value. And so when we were count when we learned the numbers in the beginning or when we teach the numbers to the students, she makes them pay attention to the endings or the other additional words that we add. <laughs> So when we saw that relationship between the numbers in Navajo and in English, it was real easy to, to show them that it, there's a pattern to follow. And so that was really cool where we found out that, that the Navajo language also breaks down the numbers into different place value systems. So that was really cool. And then once we started multiplication, Mrs. Jones started doing skip counting with the students. So we would skip count by fives, or skip count by tens, or by threes, or by fours, whichever number we decided we wanted to skip by. <laughs> Every time you start adding or subtracting the equation, this becomes longer and longer and longer. So if you go into multiplying, then it spans out more. So, so it is more descriptive in Navajo than in English sometimes. <laughs> I see them understanding what means in relation to one, two, and so forth. And I, I feel that they understand the language. I feel so proud that they are able to, you know, understand both English and Navajo. And it makes them more interested in learning and then deepening their understandings of things. Whereas if we just did it in one language and didn't expose them to the other language, especially their own home, you know, native tongue, then they'll have the chance to say, well, what did we know, you know, or how did we do this? How did we say this in our way? <laughs> Just because we're learning things in school doesn't mean that it was the only place to learn it at.
Ta 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 